Amazing story. Okay. So I'm out uh, uploading like I normally do around, around say, 10 o'clock at night. So I've uploaded. And as usual, I was using my friend's internet because I can't afford my own. But my friend has an unlimited bandwidth for like X amount of dollars a month. So he says, you know, just go ahead, use the internet as much as you want. I don't, I don't really care. He's got unlimited access. He just lets me use it however much I want which means I may or may not torrent like crazy. But for legal purposes, I don't torrent at all. So I'm there, and I'm chatting with one of my subscribers online. And maybe at this point, it's like maybe 11 o'clock at night. So I'm sitting outside my friend's business, right? And this guy walks up to me. He goes, Hey, what are you doing? You on the internet? And I'm like, Yeah. He goes, uh, You want to go get a beer? I go, No, no, I'm, I'm busy right now. Busy what? Being on the internet? And I go, Yeah. And he goes, And he starts freaking out. He starts, he starts yelling at me and shit. And it starts saying like, uh, there's something wrong with you effing people. And he's, oh, he just explodes like a complete lunatic. He starts, like I'm, I'm now trying to remember what it was he was saying. He was like, uh, this is what's wrong with people. You know, he just told me, this is that right there. Pointing to my computer goes, that's the sign of the apocalypse. And perfectly honest, from all the time that I've worked in like the mental health unit of hospitals, I have never heard anybody talk about the apocalypse. To be perfectly honest, I really thought that that was like a like a, like a caricature. That's like just the way it is on TV, and that really doesn't happen in real life. But shit, apparently I was wrong. Then, oh my God, he starts. He just he just starts going off on me. He starts you know kicking stuff around me. He starts screaming, saying that that I'm bad and that like like the world's coming to an end. And during this entire time, I unplugged my microphone from when I was talking to my, my subscriber. And I just held my finger on the talk button so that he could hear everything that was going on. So, like, worst case scenario, things get, like, really out of hand. You know, like, I got a partial witness. Because, you know, I could say at least he heard everything over the, over uh, Tiny Chat. And, uh, oh, it was just... It was crazy. He was, just, he was just completely freaking out on me. And he goes, tell me what I need to know, man. Tell me what I need to know. And I go, I don't know what you need to know. I, I, don't, I don't know you. No, why don't you know? I said, because I don't know you. And he goes, uh, he goes, what did they say? He goes, oh, you don't know me, huh? And I said, I'm sorry, have we met before? So I'm starting to think maybe this guy does know me and he really doesn't like me. And he just goes, no, man, we, we've never met before. But you're the effing problem. You're the one who's pr the problem it is. And he starts screaming and he asks me again, so do you want to go for a beer? I go, no, man, I'm, I'm busy. He kicks the wall next to me and goes, wrong answer, bud, wrong answer. And at that point, usually in the movie, that's where the crazy pulls out a gun or something. So I kind of thought, well, you know, that part that I thought was only in the movies was true, so this part is probably true as well. And so I thought he was going to, like, pull out a gun or a knife or something in my... Like my whole body is like just like complete battle ready. Like I could just I could just I could feel like 
you know the major muscle groups twitching like just ready to go like i could just feel my heart ready to go into self-defense mode and you know thankfully the situation did not turn violent yeah he left without without hitting me but man he was threatening and he was saying stuff like like you should die just for just for being here and, and causing all these problems you should die and i was like holy shit i really thought this guy was going to do something it was it was insane it was, wow like i know that happens i mean i don't even live in a big city it's a small city and i didn't I didn't really think that happens, but apparently it, but apparently it, it does here, and it's just never happened to me before. I mean, I've been here like seven years, so I figured, you know, by now it would have happened. I mean, I was, I was downtown, like, as much of a downtown core as you can call this place, that, that, that this place has, but I've never experienced anything like that. I mean, like, like when I used to work in uh, the hospitals around here, and I had to deal with, uh, uh, angry and violent mental patients and drug addicts you know that really wasn't scary because I was in control of the situation and I had backup and a whole bunch of other stuff it wasn't in like a, a dark street at night you know by yourself with somebody who's who could very easily very probably was carrying a weapon you know but uh, holy shit Man, had that might have been anybody else? Like, if that had been, like, some woman there, fuck, she might be in a really, she might be in a lot of trouble. She might be lying in the hospital right now. I mean, that was, that was freaking me out. So, I, uh, I was just about finished there anyway. So, when the guy left, I said to my subscriber, you know what? Uh, I think I'm, I'm going to get out of here in case this guy, in case this guy comes back or he's, not really going anywhere he's just sort of walking and then wherever he ends up he ends up and i don't really want the guy to come back to me he's like oh you again and he starts up all over again so i uh i said goodbye to my subscriber and then i went home i called the cops now i'm gonna say don't call the cops but you know this guy's it, it's not like a, a situation where somebody's you know it, where it's right to rebel or something like that this guy's crazy and he's gonna hurt somebody so normally I would say don't call the cops, but in this case, because it was somebody who's, who's crazy and he's going to hurt somebody, I did. Um, that was last night, and I don't know, uh, I don't know how that turned out, but at least the police were looking for him. And that was, that was the weirdest thing about the way he looked. He had like multiple layers of clothing on. He had a shaved head. He had the cigarette. And he was like, a problem, a problem, and. Yeah. Taking drags off it like like every two seconds, and the weirdest thing is like on his on his knuckles like uh, right here, he had like either these like really bad tattoos, or like they were just hand drawn with a marker. Like it, oh, it was absolutely insane. God, I was calmer than I thought I would be, but it's probably because I've dealt with it before. In a different situation, but I dealt with it before. But it was freaking me out, and you know, I really didn't want that guy to end up hurting somebody else. I mean, he didn't hurt me, but he might hurt, end up hurting somebody else. So hopefully, I could just take this and learn and learn from it.